Hello everyone. So welcome to this session. So in the last session we have solved one problem related to block diagram reduction rate. Right? So in this uh, session we are going to solve one level advanced problem that is not not the highest level but uh, what solve problem we have solved last session a bit uh, a bit tough problem we are going to solve this time okay the problems would be more tougher in the upcoming sessions okay so so for this one, one whole session we are going to solve this one single problem okay yeah so here what we need to do we need to reduce this block right now okay so first before reducing the block first try to analyze the block okay what and all are the terms given how we can reduce it uh, how many summing points are there how many take off points are there is there any way we can shift it or not okay so first let me say that here we can see that g1 and g2 are in series right we can multiply them up but no that's not the case in this problem in this problem we cannot multiply this up because uh, we can see that between g1 and g2 there is a take off point okay when there is a take off point between any two blocks we cannot say that those two are in series that you need to remember so in order to make so in order to make uh, or okay before that or we can say that g2 and g3 are uh, in uh, are having the same summing point so we can say that they are in parallel but no they are not in parallel because during this path we have one more take off point here so we cannot say that these two are in parallel also so in order to make uh, this in series or these two in parallel what we can do is we can either shift this take off point to this side or this take off point to this side okay if we shift any one of them we can say that one of them is in series or in parallel okay and here one more we can see that we have a minor loop here we can reduce this block and when we after shifting again we can say if we shift this uh, this take off point to the right right hand side of the block we we can say that these two are in series we can multiply them up and again we have a minor loop we can reduce it or else if we shift this take off point to the left hand side of the block so we can uh, if we do that we can say that uh, uh, these two are in parallel we can add them up and again uh, after adding we can write a single block and those two are in series so again we can multiply them up and after that we could be uh, reducing it by using the minor loop okay so these are the simplifications uh, you need to know before solving this okay yeah so now let's solve this step 1 what we need to do is first i am going to shift this take off point here okay to the uh, which side i am shifting to the uh, left hand side of the block so what we uh, when we shift this take off point to the left hand side of the block we need to say we uh, we need to do a small addition of one block right that what is that into g or 1 by g we should multiply into g in in this case which is the block passing uh, in this case which is the which is the block we are shifting that is g2 right so we need to multiply it by g2 so that only i am doing it right now so this summing point keep it as it is these two summing points so this is g1 and uh, g2 i am shifting this right uh, let me bring this point here and again this is a summing point g4 output so from this g3 block is going here this point and from here after shifting what i will be getting here here we already had h2 and after shifting this into g2 so h2 and g2 are in series so we can write it together as h2 into g2 okay This is plus minus, and write the remaining block as it is. That is H one. Yeah. So this is the reduced block, and after that here we can see that this is a minor loop. We can reduce it. But if we reduce it, will the summing point go? the summing point won't go because when we reduce this uh, one uh, uh, this one more path is there which is joining this summing point so the summing point would be there okay so the summing point won't go but we can reduce this two blocks okay yeah so i'm just reducing it g1 
okay and uh, these two are in a uh, uh, series now so we can uh, write it as a g2 plus g3 okay so here we have h2 g2 right yeah this is minus and here now this summing point will go because we have a uh, already made this g2 plus g3 right yeah so this is what we need to write minor loop condition g of s divided by 1 plus or minus g of s into h of s right so here g4 divided by 1 plus g4 into h1 so here we have minus so we are going to writing here plus okay so this is the output so here again so here we have one more minor loop right reduce that as well in the next step so the summing point goes g1 divided by 1 plus g1 h2 g2 right here and after that this g2 plus g3 and g4 divided by 1 plus g4 h1 okay and the output c of s r of s and after that we will be having a feedback path and now these three are in series okay yeah so we can reduce that as well that is by multiplying them so we will be left with only one block here so just multiply the numerator first that is g1 g4 into g2 plus g3 divided by 1 plus g1 g2 h2 into 1 plus g4 h1 right yeah so after that we have one more feedback path but here the value of h we have we, since we don't have any h block the value of h we can consider it as 1 okay so now final step is that we need to reduce this okay we need to take this final summing point okay so what would be our c of s by r of s now we had minor loop right with the value of h is equal to 1 so g1 g4 into g2 plus g3 divided by 1 plus g1 g2 h2 into 1 plus g4 h1 this whole bracket is one value for g of s okay divided by 1 plus again g of s this is g of s again we need to write g1 g4 g2 plus g3 divided by 1 plus g1 g2 h2 1 plus g4 h1 into uh, h of s but the value of h of s is 1 so i am not writing it so now we need to reduce this that is we can see that we have common denominator here we can cancel it out after taking the lcm so now let's take first the lcm in the denominator and cancel the uh, denominator in both the case sides okay so what would be our term left out g1 g4 g2 plus g3 divided by now after taking the lcm 1 1 into this whole term that is this whole term itself only right that is 1 plus g1 g2 h2 into 1 plus g4 h1 plus g1 g4 into g2 plus g3 so this is your final value of the transfer function c of s by r of s so this finally you need to write it in a single block okay by representing this as c of s and this as uh, r of s okay final final answer you need to be writing in a block okay yeah so it's for this block here complex block we have reduced it into one single block here see by using some of the rules of block reduction block diagram reduction
so hope you understood this video very well hope you have followed this so we have solved one more problem in our previous session so if you want you can refer that and uh, get a hang of these kind of problems so in the next session we are going to solve few more problems and few more advanced level problems we are going step by step the last session which we which problem we have solved was just level 1 so here we have just increased the level to just uh, level 2 or something so in our uh, upcoming sessions we are going to solve the advanced level problems okay and the concepts are going to get tougher even the problems so that's why i have told you right please go to the library and get the textbook and solve as many problems as you can in order to get the hang of this subject so that's all for this session please like share subscribe please please uh, give your opinion guys your opinion requires uh, for us it matters the most please share this video as well to a huge number so that's all thank you